I think I'm slowly piecing it together unless I've got it all wrong. I know back at the beginning when um, I got Auntie's boat and I can remember the fishermen saying about these great shoals of fish and they would call them habitats. But when I was fishing, I would find they would talk about two habitats of any one species of fish or there's two habitats of crab or there's six habitats of scallops but when I was fishing I would find mixed shoals of fish in several locations I'd find Mick shows a fish around there. Sometimes around there, I've got to work that ground a little bit more. I mustn't forget that. Definitely always find fish around the German bank. always but always mix shows mix shows around the wind farm yeah that's right found scallops there the other day wouldn't find many fish down here but I always find fish around this area here not too far here and I'd always find fish down through there of course I know my brain doesn't work like it used to but that's more I'd find haddock in or pollock I'd find pollock I'd find pollock there there and all in the locations and to me that was more than two and then of course I was thinking but if there's two habitats how come I'm finding Pollock in five six seven different locations I didn't really understand and then I know in the summer I was fishing right down here and I was curious to see what was down here and I came across a shoal of tuna but nothing but tuna there wasn't a single f other fish just tuna and I did really well out of that shoal and then I went down there the other day to see what was, you know, if there was anything there. And I couldn't find one fish. In that whole area, I never saw one fish. Of course, I went off in this direction, heading for up here. They've gone now because they're out of season. But from there to there, all the way up like that, was solid solid tuna it's just pure luck and then of course the other day I was coming out of Yarmouth yeah that's right I was coming out of Yarmouth and I sailed out of Yarmouth and I came here and I should have carried on down here to the German bank but then I thought I'd make a bit of a detour and I'd just cover this area here so I went out here and then I was going to head in this direction and then all of a sudden I came across Pollock and then the penny dropped 
Of course, the habitats are shoals of mainly just one species of fish. I know the fishermen were talking back when I got that boat from Auntie and I was in the bar one night and I remember them talking that every so often these great shoals of fish will come in. Of course I got really excited but I never really took too much notice because this old boy said to me he said well if you want to start fishing and make a little bit of money and he was telling me about fishing these, these areas here. They wouldn't be concentrated on one species, but there would be a mixed show. And they're always there. They're always there. You sail here, you're guaranteed to find fish. But every so often, these big shoals of fish will come in, like this one. And this one's huge because I have found Pollock right out here and right out here so this shoal of Pollock is, is covering this whole area and it's nothing but Pollock solid Pollock with a few other fish mainly cod but 90% of the fish are pollock and now I understand what the habitats are the habitats are not where the fish are the habitats are where the concentrated pollock is or where the concentrated cod is or where the concentrated tuna is that's the habitats I always thought it strange because I always they always talking about two habitats and I'm finding fish in maybe six, seven, maybe eight different locations. I'm thinking, well, if I'm finding them in eight different locations, how can there be two when I'm finding them in eight? And now I've suddenly realized, when I heard them talking in the bar that night when I first started fishing back in April, with that little old lobster boat, that's what they were talking about. So the habitats ain't where the fish are. The habitats are where a shoal of pollock is or a shoal of haddock is. Because I remember in the summer I was sailing out of Yarmouth and that was Silver Hake. I sailed out of Yarmouth and I thought I'll come down here just to see if I could find anything and I've got it must have been here somewhere oh the sea was boiling with nothing but silver hake there was nothing else but silver hake so that's what they call a habitat I suddenly realise now what a habitat is. I always thought that's where the fish are, but it's not. It's where the concentrated fish are, with that one species. Yesterday I came here. There, were, I can actually do the. Well, yesterday. It was all this. I come here this morning and now they're there. They've all moved. Now I have to work out how fast they're moving and, have they, and how fast they're moving and, and how far up they're going to go before they disperse and disappear. Or they're going to stay around here for the winter because they're definitely moving 
yesterday they were here and it, they've just started to come on the sonar there and get rid oops, and get rid of that one they've just started to come on the sonar here so they've traveled from here to here overnight because yesterday I fished down into them this way and that's how I found them there so they're probably even up this far I would have thought all there can't go too, well I can't go too far that way so they could even be up here and if I look on the, the sonar I'll put my glasses on so I can see just concentrated pollock and I can see which looks like a lobster looks like a lone lobster all on his own so now I know what habitats are it's probably ah, I should have picked that up before but I don't know right now I've worked that out I can um, I understand a bit more now um, let's turn the oops let's turn these lights off I keep the working lights going um, let's drop some uh, drop some lines I suppose Drop some pollock lines. Uh, yeah, crap. Um, let's have one of them. I don't know. Um, so I know that's going to stop. Switch this on. If I can stand still. Oh, come on, boat. Keep still. Right. Alright, what else we got here? We got crab. To a crab. Got some cod lines here somewhere. Where's the cod lines? Oh, there's a cod line. And that's another cod line, right. Right, let's get these set. I'll give them, oh, I don't know, 2000. Um, a set. Four, I suppose. Four makes eight. Yeah. Step four. Step four gives me eight thousand. If I got four, I set eight thousand hooks. I think. Yep, I'm going to set eight four eight thousand hooks. Oh, this is going to be the last one I'm going to set. I think that's right, isn't it? Um, yeah, I set that one. Yeah, that's the last one because I've got, I've got, I've got crab there, crab, 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 shrimp, 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 shrimp. Most of them are cod lines, yeah, I'm going to have to make that the last one. Don't overfill the boat and then chuck them away, that wouldn't be very clever, would it? Done that more than once. Right, just let them soak. Oh, there's. Oh, come here, where's he at? Right. Where's my glasses? Uh, it's still thick. 
That's all right. Um, right, let's let them soak and then, yep, yeah, that's one. Cool, oh, they're really thick here. Nothing but pure pollock. So this is probably what they were talking about back when I was in that bar that night. This will be classed as a habitat. Nothing but pure uh, pollock. There's hardly any other fish in there. I can't see no other fish in there. You can only see pollock. So this is probably what they were talking about when they talk about habitats. Concentration of one species of fish. Because my go-to areas, they've always had fish, all summer. Always. Never had a problem. Up to, well, touch wood. Uh, plenty of goals around. Uh, let's, uh, let's carry on. Oh, I found the first one. Let's see what we've got. See if I can uh, hook them now. I'm not very good at this. I need practice. All the time I've been fishing, I haven't fished what more than three, four times a habitat. Always sort of gone to my go-to areas. So this is a bit of a bonus. Find a more concentrated like this. Looking at the box. Ah, I was watching the fish. What have I got? 12,000. 12,000 out of a 2,000 hook line. Well, not bad, I suppose. Right, let's get on to the next one. Where is the next one? Here, well, I do look in these. Uh, 
I think any be anything better than good is just luck. Like now, that is pure luck. This isn't... Oh, this is definitely luck, this is... It's getting silly, this is... Uh, that's pretty all normal. How am I supposed to see that? That's not fair. I see fish in, in the water, I'm sure I do. Yeah, they are. Something can, yeah. Yeah, that distracted me then. I'm sure I saw fish in the water. Uh, 10,000. Right, let's go and find what we've got. 17,000. Right, let's go and find the next line. I think they're a smaller. This is, oh, I missed that one. This is the third one. Yeah, I can. I don't know. I think it's the boat, it's not fish, is it? It's a reflection on the water. I thought it was fish. Oh, come on. Do better than that, surely. Oh, it's getting worse. I knew that was those perfects were just luck. Like that one. This hooky malarkey isn't my um, my fault even. No, oh, that was my fault looking at those fish again in the box. Ah, easily distracted. Oh, oh, I've got to be careful. I've got to be careful. Search. Oh, keep careful. Can't be careful, can I? 35,000. But i got room for 14. I'm going to overfill the boat again. I'm going to end up chucking them back. I can see that happening. Um, yeah, let's go and find the next line. Oh, this is a fourth line. I'm just going to refill the boat. We've got two more to pick up. Bad to worse, this is. Two more lines to pick up, and I'm full.
Now what do I do? No, because I've got to gut these. They're going to be over over time. No, I'm going to have to pull them in and haul them in and chuck them back. Set. Oh, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Time I've got these, time I've gone to Yarmouth, time I get back, it's going to be 30 something hours. They're going to be in the water for at least 30 hours. Time I've done that. They're going to be empty anyway, surely. Oh, I'll have to pull them. I'll have to. I'll have to. Well, I've got to gut this lot now. Stiff bending over. Oops. Bit of a different one. They don't like me. I don't like them. Oh, that was bad. Oh, a nice piece of cod. Might keep that for myself. Oh, only the one. I'll definitely keep that for myself. I'll have some fish and chips. Right. Oh, can I move? Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, so stiff. Um. barely move. Oh. Oh, I can turn myself around. Bent over there for over an hour. Uh. Right, let's go back to Yarmouth. Uh, made it back. Um See how we done. Oh, it wasn't very good on the cod. Minus four. Couple thirty threes and eleven. Got in on the cod though. Oh, I'll have to do more practice on that. That wasn't very good at all. Me. Oh, it's really, really, well, 340,000. Not bad for a trip. Ah, sell that. What's the time? 
Well, it's only quarter to six. And the snow's coming. All right, you know, a bite to eat. I think tomorrow I'm going to go down to my um, what I call my go-to areas and see if I can pick up some cod. Yeah, that might be an idea. I'll go down to those areas, see if I pick up some cod. I've got some cod lines on, so. All right, I guess get a bite to eat first. Bite to eat and a cup of tea.